Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another review. This time I'm reviewing the HP Stream Laptop 14 inch Windows 10 S mode Wi Fi Bluetooth and 4 gigabytes of system memory, 64 gigabytes of storage. And, you, you know, as you know, like a phone, you can delete stuff to save, you know, free up more storage space. Anyway, so I had an unexpected accident with my um, Dell, which is right here. I managed to get the poor sorry thing up and running a little bit. My cat uh, jumped up on the arm of my chair like three weeks ago. And um, he hit my arm. And there went the whole cup of coffee all over the keyboard. I mean, all over the keyboard. I literally jumped up and tipped the, I tipped the laptop over and everything. And, and I tried drying it out and everything. But meantime, I could not be without a laptop. So I was going out anyways. And so I went up to Walmart and I picked up the HP. And I've never had an HP before. I've always had the Dells but surprisingly when I took the box you know opened it and set it up and everything the whole setup is like the same as my same as my Dell okay I'll show you what I'm talking about so it was it was a piece of cake for me to set it all up and everything um, everything is the same you know what I mean from A to Z, everything, you know, the alarm clock, or the cameras, or all that stuff like that. The apps that are in it, um, that come preloaded. Well, not all the same apps, but um, it still has Xbox on here if you're an Xbox fan. Uh, it's got the Microsoft Edge, all that, the Office, the OneNote, um, Windows accessories, Windows tools, Skype, all that stuff like that. And you can hook your phone up. Um, I think you can do that on the Dell as well. You can hook your phone up and uh, talk from your computer, which I probably would never do anyway. So this is um, a screensaver that I downloaded. Uh, it's um, 20 scenes. It changes every 10 minutes. This is what it looks like on my laptop. And this is what it looks like on my TV. Now, I would like to demonstrate the volume of, uh, I would like to demonstrate the volume of this, but um, I don't want to get in trouble <laughs> from YouTube for it. So, um, maybe I could go find one of my videos, but I don't know. Um, trust me, it's got great sound, okay? It really does. Now, I want to point out, Right here is where you plug in the electrical power source, which is opposite from my Dell. Um, on my Dell, it's over here on this side. And over here, let me turn this around a little bit. We have the HDMI port right there, which I have hooked to my TV. Um, this is my phone cord right now because I'm always plugging my phone into it. You have three USB ports and you have the spot for your headphones and stuff. And then this is your memory card reader. Right here. Where's my finger? Right there. And I've already set up my printer which I'll talk to you about that in a second. So anyway, it's, yeah, it's the same setup as the Dell, so I felt right at home with it. Um, now, the, the printer, oh, I haven't had any problems with this. I, I um, have been running it for three weeks straight, and believe me, when I say run it, I'm talking about the first thing in the morning till the last thing at night because I do everything on my computer. I watch... I stream BritBox on it. Uh, I look at Facebook. I look at YouTube. I look at 
NBC TV network. I do all that stuff on it. You know, look at my mail. I do everything on it. Even if I just got my TV going in the background, my laptop is on. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not a lazy person. I just happen to be unemployed. So, um, ever since everything happened, you know, we we were out of business. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. So, you have your setup instructions right here. Everything you need to know. And back here. Well, if you have a laptop, you know. If you're new to laptops, you can probably figure it out or have somebody help you. I mean, and questions about the product and stuff like that. You know, all the information you need when you're first uh, setting everything up and everything. Now, I will, I will say one thing that did scare me about this. I have a habit, all right, here, up here, I don't know if you can see, right here, is the on and off button. Okay. On my Dell, it's over on this side, right here. But the thing is, with my Dell, I used to just tap the button at night and, and the computer would go off. You know, I didn't double, I didn't press it really hard enough to really get it. Um... To completely shut down but enough to shut down for the night which I was doing with um, the HP and then I came home from somewhere oh I went with my daughter and um I went to turn my laptop on and it really wasn't letting me get past that HP and I had a, a gray screen of so um, I went to um, let me tell you I went through heck trying to get it to work again and then after after looking you know after doing all that um i decided to start shutting the computer off the right way uh, i've never had that problem before when shutting down a computer so what i basically do is um just go here and to power and then i can either make it sleep or i can shut it down and then, in the morning, then I can hit the on button. But I just wanted to mention that in case you, that ever happens to you. Um, I don't recommend hitting that on and off button the way I was doing. Um, because I, I literally got scared. <laughs> and somehow I managed to get it to work. And then when I researched it and found out what was going on, I was like, oh, crap. All right, so that's the story about that. Now let's talk about the uh, my HP printer. I had the HP printer hooked up to the Dell, okay? And um, I had no problem setting that up when I first hooked it up um, because that was my second Dell. And I got rid of the other one because, you know, it was old and stuff. So I got that, this Dell, and... Um, I had no problem hooking up uh, the printer. So, the other day, I go to hook up the printer to the HP, and wouldn't you know it, I really needed to use the printer. I had to print something out. And wouldn't you know, it gave me a hard time. I did everything trying to get this to work. I went into settings and everything, like, you know... Um, uh, let's see, I was in, I went into this part, and, uh, let's see, printers, right here, and I did, you know, I could see it, you could see it right now, right here, but it just wouldn't let me connect, I, I went through heck, I'm telling you, I, it took me, I think it took me over an hour. So this is what happened. I know it's irrelevant, but, you know, I'm going to explain it anyway. So what I did was, let me get out of here. I went on my Dell, and I, 
I managed to get it to boot up and all that stuff. And of course, it, I couldn't get it to work properly, but I got it to do what I wanted it to do. Now, what I did was, I went to the HP doctor, H, HP print and scan doctor. And what I reset all the um, drivers and stuff like that. And, and uh, I managed to get it to work. I'm not going to go into all the frustrating details of it. And it did take a couple of tries, but I did get it to finally work. But I found it, I found it amusing, the fact that it hooked right up to my Dell with no problem, and the fact that it's an HP printer, and I'm trying to hook it up to my HP laptop, that it gave me such a hard time. But I got everything done, and it's all set now, so... If you do uh, run into that problem, you might, if you have an HP um, printer, you might want to go to the HP doctor and that'll, you know, it'll scan everything and fix everything and do whatever it does do with the drivers and stuff like that. Now, let me see what else I could tell you about this. I mean, yeah, it's been running pretty good. I've, you know, like I said, three weeks, I never just do a... I never just do a product review out the box. I gotta try everything. And then there's the keyboard right there. Like I said, everything. But yeah. Um, let me see if I can show you. I don't wanna get myself in trouble here. <laughs> um, let me pause this for one second. And I'll be right back. Okay, um, I had to shut my TV off so I could use the, um, get the sound, um, on my laptop. Because, uh, I can't get the sound when it's hooked up to the TV. Alright, so this is my personal video. Not stealing nobody's video. It's one of my YouTube videos. I don't want to get in trouble for that. Um, this is when we went fishing at Burden and Grafton State, um, Park. Okay. And then, first time for the season, we're riding in now I'm with my daughter. We're going to look for a place to fish up here. We just had a lovely lunch at a new um, fish fry place in Wine Scale. Now, this What's volume is not turned all the way up either. Let me pause that. This volume is not turned all the way up. Um, Let's see. Minimize this. No, it's not. I mean, all right. Grafton is open all year long. They have ice fishing and snowmobiling and all that stuff like that. In the summertime, though, when you come up, you know, you have to pay, you know. It does have a good sound. Swimming and picnicking and stuff like that. Okay, so that was the sound. I couldn't play music, but the music sounds really good on it as well. As does when you use the headphones. And I already showed you where the volume was right down here. The volume's right down there. See, this is the my blue pointer. And where the blue pointer is, that's... Uh, I'm pointing toward the volume right there. So, yeah. I paid 200 and something. I can't remember. I thought I paid 241 maybe before tax or after tax or something like that. At Walmart. So, I got it at Walmart. So... That's my review. I haven't had any problems with it. You know, it's, it's it's a laptop. What can you say, you know? It does everything you need it to do. USB ports. Plug in your printer. Plug in your cell phone. Plug in your headphones. Plug in your TV. You know, plus like the other ones. Well, I don't know about the other ones, but 
the HP and the Dell, you know, they have the gaming, you know, for the gaming system and stuff like that. And the paint thing and the picture thing, you know, where you can paint and, and draw pictures and all that stuff. They has all the same features, you know. I don't know what other computers have because I've always personally been a Dell person. But I find it funny that both the uh, HP and the Dell are, you know, practically um, the same laptop. You know what I mean? Alright guys, that's my review. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, particularly if you happen to have the uh, HP Stream 14-inch laptop. And everybody have a great day. Bye.